Hey guys, Dr. J here. In the previous episode, we had another unplanned stop. This time it was because of a lockdown of the Popper's Drop train station. Sinclair told us it was enacted by Grace Holloway on the orders of Sophia Lamb. He told us we'd have to persuade her somehow to leave the lockdown. She's currently residing in Sinclair's former hotel, the Sinclair Deluxe. We tried going there immediately, but were stopped by a new type of splicer, a brute splicer. In order to enter the hotel, we'd need to first find a research camera and then find another brute splicer and use it on him. That way we'll be able to force our way through the debris that's blocking our way. At the end of the episode, we found the research camera and can now start looking for a brute splicer. We've already got the first research achievement. The next one will be unlocked once a single enemy type is fully researched, and the last one when we've maxed out research on all enemy types. Filming dead bodies also gives us some research points, but it's almost negligible. Now let's backtrack a bit and get on top of the clinic again, to see if we can go inside any of the other buildings. While doing so, we might as well film the bodies of the splicers we've recently killed. While it is a negligible amount of research points, there's no reason not to get them. Okay, there's something at that window in front of us. Let's pick it up with the telekinesis. Not bad, some more anti-personnel rounds. And we've got a vending machine here. And an upgrade station as well. Awesome. This will give us the third rivet gun upgrade, which will also drastically increase the research points we'll be getting, since setting the enemies on fire counts as another multiplier. This also unlocks the second upgrade related achievement. So the third rivet gun upgrade acts a bit like an incinerate plasmid. It doesn't work 100% of the times, but there's a very high chance of setting the enemy on fire. Let's try it out now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. An easy A plus rating. Though I was also using the Electro Bolts, which I believe gives a slightly higher multiplier compared to the decoy. Let's enter this room now. Okay, so there's a tonic on top of that file cabinet and an audio diary on the desk. Another day, no clients. Atlas and Ryan start going at it hot and heavy, and all my business dries up. Used to be easy. Put the eye on some spliced up dame's wandering husband and rake in the dough. Now it's got so bad I had to put my camera in hawk at King Pond. Makes a guy consider splicing on himself. If I had two dimes to rub together, that is. Okay, so that was just a little backstory on how the camera ended up in the pawn shop. The tonic we've collected is fairly useless. There shouldn't be any point in the game where I'll be tripping an alarm anyway. Let's see what kind of rating we'll be getting without the Electro Bolts. Okay, an A is also pretty good. Also, something to keep in mind is that the decoy actually obstructs projectiles. It's not so much a projection, but rather an actual entity. Which is why we can't just shoot through it when attacking enemies. And we've picked up another audio diary. Now, Eleanor, mommy has to go away for a while. You shall be staying with Aunt Gracie. Mommy, don't go. Eleanor, you are better than that. Your home is your Do you remember what I told you? you trust an I am very special. Security system to do the That's job. Right. A real That's man protects what's his I was with born his to own change mind the world. and his own body. Yes. Try Ryan and Industries' new plasmid, Booby Trap. The, the number one name indeed. in home security. Booby Trap. Available now at a gatherer's garden. I see. So Lamb disappeared for a while, for whatever reason. That explains why we never heard of her during Bioshock 1. The question is, where did she go? Also, I'm guessing it was during this time that Eleanor changed into a little sister. Anyways, let's get back to the current events. Gathering Adam is a great way to rack up some huge research points. Usually the enemy waves consist of the level specific enemies, so we really never should have to go out of our way to look for more enemies to research. And of course, now that we have the decoy plasmids, gathering Adam will be incredibly easy. It also makes trap rivets kind of obsolete. 
All we need to worry about now is filming every enemy that spawns here. And keep refreshing the decoy, of course. Okay, we've already passed the halfway mark. Just a bit more. Great. I forgot that the splicers actually have to see the decoy in order for it to work on them. We don't really lose anything if the little sister gets interrupted, except for a little bit of time, of course. But still, it is a bit annoying. Oh yeah, I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but ordinary leadhead splicers can also sometimes throw explosives. We can deal with them the same way we used to deal with the nitro splicers in Bioshock 1, using telekinesis and throwing back the explosives at them. Okay, we finished gathering Adam, so let's pick up the loot from the bodies and bring the little sister to the conveniently placed vents nearby. Hmm, I just realized we used up quite a lot of Eve hypos on this gather. We don't really have any pressing needs to buy some more right now, but it's something we'll have to keep in mind. Okay, I think we've gone through all the loot boxes. Ah, actually there's one more here. Okay, let's send the little sister through the vents now. Now that we have some atom, I guess we should stop by a gatherer's garden to see if we can buy anything useful. Okay, let's go back to following the guiding arrow. We haven't been in that building yet, have we? Remember, son, without using that research camera, we can't get to Gracie, and that means we're stuck here. Get one of those big apes on film, then work him over. Right, so this is our next goal. Finding a boot splicer and filming him with the research camera. Okay, so it turns out this is the roof of the pawn shop. Actually, I think I saw a couple of thief hypos inside. Yep, there was one in the safe. Are there any more? Perfect, so we are now just one if hypo shy of maxing them out. Okay, let's see where the arrow will lead us. We haven't been down there yet. It says Skid Row. So if we take the left corridor, we'll be going back to the Sinclair Deluxe. Seems like this was meant as a kind of a shortcut. Using that camera is a bit like telling a joke. Each time you tell it the same way, it gets a little more stale, so you gotta change it up to keep it fresh. I was a bit overly excited with this big daddy, but he was just in such a perfect location. Also, since he doesn't have a little sister, I can kill him and he'll respawn soon afterwards. So we'll be getting a very good head start on the big daddy research track. You may think that the decoy plasmid is not all that helpful in fights with enemies with large health pools, but this can't be further from the truth. Even though I draw aggro after I start damaging him, each time I recast the decoy, the big daddy is forced to attack it. And since it takes a couple of seconds for him to switch targets, this will give us plenty of time to shoot him without him fighting back. Just like that. After we killed him, we unlock the achievement for killing three big daddies without dying. Another thing I need to mention is that getting to the next research level even without killing the enemy will stop us from making any further research on this particular enemy. Okay, it's time to look around and see what we can find in the skid row. How did his rivet gun get so far away from his body? Oh, there's a trap boat across the street. We'll take care of it as usual, by dragging something through it. Okay, now let's try entering this shop. There's a health station here. This kind of looks like a clinic or a pharmacy. Let's try the storage room. After we deal with these splicers, I guess. Since I still have quite a lot of anti-personnel rounds, I'll use up some more of them, despite losing on a little bit of research. 
Yeah, we're only getting B ratings since we're not setting them on fire. But since this guy is conveniently standing in a puddle... Yeah, there we go. An A+. Oh, I see a camera at the far end of the street. Let's hack it. Okay, I think we took care of all the splicers for now. Let's go back to the pharmacy and check the storage room. Might as well use a first aid kit and pick up the one on the ground. Was this one trying to ambush us? If so, that was a resounding failure. But yeah, that's what I was talking about. This shotgun just feels weak, unsatisfying. I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. Might as well grab the hack dart before going through the hole in the wall. Right, so let's see what's in the next building. So there's a safe and another audio diary. And it looks like we can hack open the door from the inside. This lamb woman's powers of manipulation are almost scary. Her people are using the girls from the surface to gather Adam from lamb's followers. It's in the blood. And eventually they give themselves over. Like dying. Like everybody's on the go these days. And almost everybody feel sorry for you. you. You if still haven't experienced Ryan daughter, Industries new spring line of plasma. Isn't it about it time that you got one way, way or another oh. today? This guy Meltzer is certainly impressive. Managing to survive in rapture without any plasmids for so long? Father's love, I suppose. It's a bit annoying that we can only get a very small amount of research when hacking a security system, but in Bioshock 2, turrets, cameras and bots are placed in the same category, so we'll have plenty of chances to completely research them. There's a splicer walking on that bridge, but he got out of sight. Let's try to find a way to get on that bridge. I think we've mostly covered the area on the ground floor, so I'd like to check the rooftops now. I also believe we've been hearing a big daddy's groaning for a while now. Maybe a new one has spawned already. Anyways, let's try going up these stairs for now. Actually, you know what? I'd rather first try to find this big daddy and this time get his little sister. There are probably gathering spots ahead and I'd rather not have to backtrack later. I'm not sure if that groaning we've been hearing is not some kind of ambience. So let's try leaving this area and coming back. To be honest, I'm not sure what triggers the respawn. Is it time based or do we need to be a certain distance away from the spawn point? Before leaving though, let's deal with this splicer. We were even able to finish a research level. By the way, there is an achievement related to splicers throwing explosives, but there is a very easy way to unlock it later on. Okay, let's go back to the downtown area and see if we can trigger the big daddy to respawn. No new splicers so far, which makes sense, we haven't done anything to cause them to spawn. I guess this should be far enough if it's triggered by distance. Let's try going back. Doesn't look promising. Nope, he still hasn't respawned. Now well, let's go find the brute splicer and check back on him later. Oh, there's also one more cool thing about the camera in this game. Once it starts filming, it will immediately switch to the last weapon we've used. Now let's listen to this audio diary. Okay, so we already need to complete the first level of research of the Brute Splicers in order to progress the story. I'm trying to snipe him from a distance because of the camera. 
And we didn't even need to kill him in order to complete the first level of research. Now let's finish him off and go hack that camera. Dude, these guys hurt. Maybe I should have used the electro bolt and or heavy rivets in order to kill him. Well, he's finally down. Look at you, sport. A regular junior shuttlebug. And it appears you've picked up a new trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way. What the? Where did she come from? Luckily I already used a decoy on the other splicer. Okay, we've killed the splicers, now let's take care of the camera as well. But let's try using the electro bolt before we hack the camera. Yeah, I thought so. Using Electro Bolt will drastically increase the research points from security systems, while still keeping them undamaged and thus useful to us. This will make researching the security system category much faster and easier. And since we're here anyway, let's try checking upstairs. Let's take a look at the bathroom. There's a first aid kit here. And nothing much else. How about this room? There's a hole in the wall that leads outside. And... Did I just hear a big daddy walking around? Yeah, there he is. Perfect. And he's even caught his little sister already. I'll try to lure him in front of the rocket turret. For Grace, the paradise of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But, Jim, but in the family, she has found hope, so a reason to draw breath. Take a break. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to that take it from her? And since we have a couple of gas canisters here, it would have been a waste not to use them. Since the Big Daddy is distracted by the rocket steroids, I decided to use a shotgun in order to finish him off quickly. This was probably my easiest Big Daddy fight yet. And luckily the rocket turret is still intact, more or less. It should be very useful in our fight against the Big Sister. But we have run completely dry of Eve. I should go buy some hypos and then look for a gathering spot. And there is a gathering spot right in front of us. That sure is convenient. Actually, do I even need to buy Eve Hypos now? Yeah, I guess I'd better go. I only have enough for a single decoy. And it's not like we're strapped for money. Okay, let's go back to that gathering spot now. We will again use some trap rivets on the approaches. Not that we need them to protect our little sister, but we still haven't unlocked the trap kills achievement. Here's another spot we can place some trap rivets. And I guess this should be enough. I know I'm being somewhat cocky, but really, there's virtually no way they'd kill me at this point. I'm holding off using the decoy before I see the first splicer spawn, since I don't want to waste any EVE. Here they come. Nice, we've already maxed out the research on the thuggish splicers and gotten the scrounger tonic as a reward. This will drastically decrease the amount of times I need to use the camera thankfully. Also, the Tiggy Splicers will stop spawning after we leave this level, so it was kind of important to finish researching them while we're here. If we're lucky, we may even be able to finish researching the Leadhead Splicers as well. Couple more Splicers are dropping from the bridge. I could have used Electro Bolt since they're dropping in water, but then I wouldn't be able to film them. Though we did turn out they were just Tuggy Splicers, so I didn't need to research them anyway. Okay, just a little bit more until the little sister has finished gathering Adam. Okay, that's a Lethead Splicer. And she died before I could use the camera.
Perfect, we just unlocked the trap kills achievement. That's one more we don't need to worry about anymore. And we've also finished harvesting Adam, so let's pick up the little sister. Okay, so what should we do now? Should we find another body or go to Sinclair's hotel? Actually, we've not fully explored the skid row yet. I guess we should start with that. Oh yeah, and there's also a tonic we need to pick up upstairs. Let's just finish looting the bodies, collect any unused trap rivets, and then we'll go upstairs. Actually, now that I think about it, we didn't finish looking through the area with the Brute Splicer as well. Damn, a lot of stuff left to do here. Okay, I think it was this way where we fought the Brute Splicer. And we haven't hacked this vendor yet? That seems wrong. The Limbo Room, huh? That's where Grace used to sing. Wait, what? We haven't been here yet at all. Sorry guys, seems like I've gotten a bit confused. Anyway, we still need to see what we can find here. Obviously there's a gift from Eleanor here. Here, father. It's yours. You are evolving fast, but your heart is getting weaker. I can keep you alive, but you must find me. Okay, nice. The hypnotized plasmid. Anything else interesting here? To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of these plasmids, but let's see if there's anything else we can use. There's a couple of leadhead splicers we can use for research. I do find it a bit rude to bother them while they're dancing, but it's for science. I do wonder though, is there some significance in Eleanor leaving us this plasmid in Grace's former workplace? Perhaps she wanted us to learn a bit more about her, and by that I mean Grace. Let's check the back rooms. Nice, there's an upgrade station here. Hmm, what should I choose? Well, I am using the machine gun quite often, so it makes sense to upgrade it now. There's nothing else particularly useful anyway. Okay, one more room left. And of course there's an audio diary as well. So, at some point Eleanor was with Grace, and it seems like Grace was quite fond of Eleanor. Wonder if we'll be able to convince her we're not the bad guys here. I guess the only thing left to do here is go upstairs again. Unless I'm forgetting something. Yeah, we didn't go all the way up the stairs, right? We definitely haven't been in this room. Okay, nice. There's a body we can get a random from here. A Neve Hypo and another audio diary. Okay, so my plan is, once we're done gathering Adam from this body, to go to the entrance of the skid row and use the vent. This will spawn the big sister and we can use the rocket turret there to kill her. I'll still probably need to use my entire supply of trap rivets, but the rocket turret should help quite a lot. And there's something bugging me about that audio diary we just picked up. Father Wales. Kinda seems like an introduction to a new character we'll be meeting. Look after our own interests. 
We call it the Great Chain. Just a couple more lead head splicers until we finish their research as well. No, it seems I was wrong. There's still one more level of research. Another lead head splicer here. Let's see how much research we can get from him. Not as much as I hoped. We'll probably need to kill like 10 more or something like that. Anyways, we're nearly done with gathering Adam. Okay, so there's one more splicer left. Where is he? Was that you? Most likely. At least we got some more research points. Right, so let's finish exploring this place, grab that tonic from a while back, and start preparing for the big sister. Oh, there was one more hiding here. Did she get stuck or something? Okay, so let's try searching the kitchen first. Nothing interesting. Oh, I think this was actually where we came from earlier. Yeah, here's the tonic. Good, we should be done with the skid row now. Yeah, I don't think I'll be using this tonic. If it was electrifying them, okay, fine, but just setting them on fire, it's useless. Now let's just check the roof of the pharmacy and then we'll drop down on the ground floor. Oh, there's kind of a hidden room here, with an audio diary of course. If I submit to the debates with Lamb, we defang her. I have done so. And have you been to Popper's Drop, Bill? Listen. Between each song, these Oblomovs hand out her manifesto. Her face adorns every wall. Saint Lamb. You made her. That's Bill McDonough for ya. I always try to look for the good in people. Look where this got him. Well, this is it for today's episode. Thank you for spending your time with me and if you have enjoyed it, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. It will really help me a lot. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions, I would love to hear from you. Take care and until next time.